It's a giant grocery haul. I love grocery hauls and snooping around to see what other people buy and how they feed their family. So there is my husband, myself, and then our two-year-old. So three of us, and I currently have gestational diabetes, and my body is not really tolerating hardly any carbs at all. Like, I think I can have 25 and still keep my blood sugar where it needs to be at each meal, and then I usually have a couple snacks. Um, so if there's something that is specifically that I won't be eating or touching, I'll let you know, because um, there are a few things just for my husband and my son, but you'll probably be able to figure those out. So let's just start with toiletries sort of things. Flushable toddler wipes for Simon, some lotion for me, shampoo and conditioner for me, and then hair stuff for my husband. We did spend a total of $20 at Target. And then we did get toilet paper at the grocery store. Okay, so let's get into the food. Um, my husband does follow Points Plus, and so he loves this bread. This is the Sara Lee Delightful for 45 calories. I think it's one point per slice, but I don't remember because I don't typically eat wheat. Um, so that's for him. And then this is just the bread that we buy for Simon's um, peanut butter sandwiches. And then we bought two liters of the A&W um, 10. I like this a lot better than just a regular diet soda. And it only has three carbs. So it does have a little bit of sugar. It's 10 calories and three carbs. And then I bought three smart ones. And this is one that only has 13 carbs. If you subtract the fiber, the net carbs is only 10, but I don't usually look at that. So this one is the Chicken Santa Fe. I got three of these. The Creamy Basil Chicken with Broccoli. This one has 18 carbs. And then I got the Homestyle Beef Pot Roast. And I particularly picked these ones out because of their low carb content and the fact that they had a decent amount of protein and they did not contain wheat. And then this is some chopped spinach. This is going to be going into the Knorr vegetable recipe mix. I love making the Knorr spinach dip. You basically add sour cream and mayo and spinach and a few other things and it makes a huge amount of dip. So um, I'll usually, actually it's been, it's probably been two years since I've made this, but um, I, yeah, so I don't remember if I have it, but I've made it before. Anyway, not important. Frozen raspberries. Um, these are going in one of our Thanksgiving recipes. The pretzels are for Dan and Simon exclusively. I did just buy some regular extra, extra lean ground beef. I typically buy the grass fed, but um, we had to buy a lot of food, so... On weeks like that, I do try to save as much money as possible, and if that means, you know, buying the regular ground beef as opposed to the grass-fed beef, those are the compromises that I'll make in my budget. We are having a special breakfast, and so I got some original recipe Johnsonville breakfast sausages, and then some chicken, boneless skinless chicken breasts, just a bag of those. Um, for my convenience foods, I also bought a, what is that, like a half pound of the grilled chicken breast strips. My grocery store is awesome, and it sells these little containers of chicken breast strips already cut up. And I think for $2.50 for all of that, that will go into my salad that I'll show you here in a bit. Anyway, we got some Gala apples. Simon will probably be the one to eat most of those. I do love apples, but... My blood sugar does not. Okay, medium olives. These are going to be going in taco salad. And then I got some Greek non-fat plain yogurt. I prefer the full fat, but my grocery store just started carrying this. This is a brand new item. And I was really excited to try it. The thing that I love about yogurt is the Greek yogurt is has 23 grams of protein and only nine carbs. So a cup of that in the morning is like so filling. And then I did get the full fat cottage cheese. I believe it's 14 grams of protein and not hardly any carbs. So five carbs, 12 grams of protein. 
So those are really great diabetic friendly foods. I find that the bag of baby carrots stays most fresh if I buy them in the individual packs and I usually have one of these at lunch. So some carrots. These are for Dan and Simon. I wish they were for me. Um, they're just the cuties. So zero points if you're a Weight Watcher counter. Okay, I'm going to unplug this and try to get through the rest of this. We'll see. Okay. I love these dull chopped salad kits. This one has 13 carbs. Most of them have 15 carbs or less. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the barbecue ranch one. And I have tried every single one of them. This is the poppy seed one. This one also has, I think, 15 carbs. Mm -hmm. 15 carbs. And then this one, my favorite, and it only has six carbs. It's the bacon and blue. So this comes with bacon bits and blue cheese, dressing, and lots of vegetables. So I love these, and they have three servings in each one. Oh, I guess four servings, but I usually make about three meals out of these. So those will be really good at lunchtime. And then I got some shredded lettuce for some basically uh, shell-less tacos, taco salad, if you will. But um, crunchy taco shells are actually really low in carbs. You can have three taco shells for only like 18 carbs. So pretty good. And I got a bag of carrots and two things of celery. The carrots and the celery... I will be making a chicken and rice soup. Okay, this is almond milk with coconut, unsweetened. I got this because, look at those carbs. Only one carb, excellent. Taco seasoning, I will be adding this to my ground beef. Simon loves these. These are the Chobani Greek yogurt. And actually, these only have six carbs in them. And sometimes I do eat these if I'm on the go just because they're convenient. So um, one of these is only two ounces. So with something like this, um, it is kind of just like a regular tub of yogurt um, sweetened with, um, with some sugar. But Simon really likes them and I think they're also delicious. Heavy whipping cream. Um, I haven't got to the dessert that I'm making, but I'm making two of our Thanksgiving favorites. I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, I got another pound or so of almond meal. My grocery store sells this for $3.50 a pound. That is like crazy. It used to be $7 a pound. And now it's only $6 a pound. This is an English cucumber. Um, my grocery store doesn't sell the little Persian ones like Trader Joe's, which are my favorite. Um, this is extra creamy whipped topping. It does have a little bit of carbs, two carbs. I got two of these, and then I got two packages of sugar-free Jello. One in strawberry, one in raspberry. Then I got some honey roasted peanuts, and then some regular roasted peanuts. <coughs> Excuse me. The honey roasted peanuts have eight carbs per serving. The regular roasted peanuts have six carbs per serving, and then both of them have three grams of fiber per serving. So I like to mix them to have a little bit of sweet and a little bit of salty, and it is a delicious treat, um, snack to take on the go. I am on the go a lot. I don't stay home hardly ever, like the whole day. So I like to make up a little trail mix, and I put them in a little container throw them in the diaper bag, and then I'm set if I start feeling hungry. Um, this is Dr. Pepper 10. Um, Dan takes these in his lunches, and then just a gallon of fat-free milk. So total between Target and the grocery store, we spent $117. We also get Simon the popcorn special and this time he got the caramel popcorn and I had some. It is so good. Oh my heavens and it was so good. Okay so 
yeah, $117. Um, so what I'm making with kind of the special items that I don't buy all the time, like the Cool Whip, <coughs> the Jello. Yeah, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still getting over a cold. So at Thanksgiving every year, we have a pretzel, cream cheese, Jello salad thing. So the crust is like pretzels and butter and brown sugar. And then there's a layer of cream cheese that's mixed with, I think it's just mixed with Cool Whip. It's been a long time since I've made it. It's been a few years since I've made it because I didn't make it last year. So it's been a couple years, but anyway, it is traditional. And then there's, you put raspberries on it and then you put, I think you put Cool Whip on the top. Anyway, it's Dan's favorite. When we sat down and talked about what we we're gonna do for Thanksgiving, that was one thing that he remembered was the pretzel jello salad. So I wanted to make it sugar free and I'm gonna make it crustless. And then if he wants the pretzels, he can just like put some on top. So it's gonna have sugar free jello, sugar free Cool Whip, and then raspberries and sugar-free jello. So um, I'm really excited because it is sugar-free. So we'll be making that to kind of eat throughout the week. And then I'm going to make a keto version of a pumpkin dessert. Um, basically like a pumpkin pie, but I'm going to use my butternut squash for my garden because I've heard that you can substitute butternut squash for pumpkin. So we're going to find out. So that's actually what the heavy whipping cream is for. And that's all we're doing for Thanksgiving. We each picked one thing that we wanted. Um, I'm going to see if I can set this down and you can still see me. No. This is like, okay, what can be used as a, a tripod? Okay, so here we are. I'm squatting. Anyway, um, so those are the two things that we wanted. What have I done? That we wanted. Okay, so those are the. Okay, so those are the two things that we wanted Thanksgiving. So my husband is a nurse. Our family's all far away, and I'm almost 35 weeks pregnant. So traveling not an option. He works on Thanksgiving, so we decided this year we're just going to go out to a buffet. We're going to go to Chuckarama. I don't know if they have Chuckarama where you're at. We're going to go on Wednesday, and that's Chuck Wagon Day, and so they have all kinds of different meats, like lots and lots of different kinds of meats. Great salad bar. Um, they have all kinds of pumpkin desserts, and my husband loves the rolls and that sort of thing. So I'm really excited. We're gonna try it as a new tradition so I don't have to cook the whole thing. Last year I cooked our entire Thanksgiving dinner and it was fun, but it was just so much work and I just don't have it in me um, right now. I, I can definitely start to feel my energy like oh, tanking. So we're gonna go out to dinner, but we decided that we still wanted to have one like Thanksgiving favorite instead of like a whole spread of things that are tempting and high sugar, high calorie, high carb, whatever. My husband is still tracking points plus and he's maintained his weight for months and months. So he's still on board. We're, we're both still trying to really be mindful of what we're eating, but we did want to have um, like a version of our favorite holiday treat and I think that's totally appropriate. So that is what we're doing for Thanksgiving. And then um, I think I showed you everything else. So like what I'm going to be doing for meals are the salads and then I'm making a chicken and rice homemade soup that is so good. It's from the new Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, the 15th edition, and it's really good. It's just like carrot, celery, onions, chicken stock, chicken, rice, and then I put sage and um, like a few other like seasonings in it and then I add cayenne pepper to it. And it is so good. Um, I could eat it every day. So that is really good for my low carb. So I'll have like soup and salad at lunch for this week. And then for dinners, I'm going to try the smart ones. I haven't bought smart ones since like the very beginning of the summer, I think. But I think that having some things like that on hand when, um, like when you, you just know that you're trying to really keep things simple and mess free. Um, I think that those are great options. Honestly, I know that frozen food kind of gets like the bad rap. Um, a lot of time and like the, it's like processed and that sort of thing. But I think that there is kind of like, 
Um, I think that you kind of have to like pick your poison, you know? And so this week, I just, I just don't want the poison of stress. I don't want a bunch of leftovers. I don't want to have to cook a big meal. Um, and so I'm really excited to have some frozen dinners that I can just make like really, really quickly. So um, I think that's it. I'm rambling. Holy cow, this is so long. So um, thanks for watching. And really quickly, I'm going to um, film my next video, just like my pregnancy update and that sort of thing. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.